Okay, today we're going to talk about the uh, gram stain. Gram stain is a way of telling apart two different types of bacteria. So all bacteria possess a cell membrane. Then they possess a cell wall. And the cell wall is made of peptidoglycan. Now, gram-positive bacteria possess a thicker peptidoglycan cell wall. So this cell wall, a peptidoglycan, is much, much, much thicker. Now, gram-negative bacteria have also got a layer of peptidoglycan. But what they also have is a layer of an outer cell membrane which is made of lipopolysaccharide. So it's similar to cell membrane but it's not the cell, same as cell membrane but it's an outer layer. So gram-positive bacteria have got a thicker peptidoglycan and gram-negative bacteria have got this outer layer here which is um, lipopolysaccharide. Now the way we tell these apart is we carry out a staining technique where we use some chemicals which attach themselves to particular biochemicals. So in this diagram we have first of all the application of crystal violet. Now crystal violet is purple. When we apply it both the gram positive and the gram negative bacteria stain purple. Then we apply iodine, which helps to stick the purple dye onto the bacteria. Then we wash it with ethanol or alcohol, and it, the crystal violet washes off the gram-negative bacteria. So if you remember, these here are the gram-positive bacteria and these ones here are the gram-negative bacteria and these ones, the gram-positives, will retain the crystal violet stain whereas the gram-negative bacteria, the crystal violet will be washed off by the alcohol. So the thicker peptidoglycan cell wall and the absence of the outer lipopolysaccharide cell membrane means that the gram-positive bacteria remain purple and the gram-negative bacteria have the um, crystal violet washed off them. The next thing we need to do is we need to counter-stain with safranin. Now, safranin is a pink stain. So safranin stains the gram-negative bacteria pink. It also stains the gram-positive bacteria pink. But the gram-positive bacteria are purple, so you don't see that they're pink. It's only because the gram-negative bacteria have had the crystal violet washed off them by the alcohol that they then appear pink when you apply safranin. So gram-negative bacteria are pink, gram-positive bacteria are purple. The reason the gram-negatives are pink is that the gram-positives don't show the pink colour because they're purple. Now, traditionally gram-negative bacteria are associated with being more pathogenic this is because they possess this outer layer of lipopolysaccharide which affects the penetration of antibiotics. 